Hey everyone, so my last basics video was how to do the back stitch, and so as promised, today I'm going to be showing how to use the back stitch for a kind of modern embroidery project. And I actually made this for my husband Jeremiah for a late anniversary gift. And so here's the project, and I hope you like it. The supplies you need are cutting tools, red and blue thread or embroidery floss, and gray embroidery floss. Three eyelets are optional machine and hand sewing needles, a marking tool, a picture frame with removable back, a ruler, white cotton or broadcloth, medium weight fusible interfacing, iron, and a sewing machine. Cut your fabric three inches larger than your frame and the interfacing one inch larger than the frame. For this project I put a new needle in my sewing machine that is a size 12 or 80 for the international scale tension, needle, and thread on a sample piece of my material. Place the interfacing textured side up, then center the fabric on top right side up. Cover with another piece of fabric and iron on medium high heat and steam. Starting from the left, mark a line two inches and two and a quarter inches from the edge. Then from the top, mark a line at two and a half inches from the edge, then every half inch until two inches from the bottom. Using your red thread or embroidery floss, machine sew or back stitch down the two vertical lines. Switch to blue and sew along the horizontal lines. Erase any pencil lines that may be visible. Use the frame to check the placement, then write your message on the fabric. I chose a size 7 embroidery needle and began embroidering my handwriting using a back stitch. Check out my Sewing Basics video for a detailed backstitch tutorial. If you decrease the stitch size on curved areas, it will give your letters a smoother and better look. I trimmed down the project to fit my frame, added eyelets for the paper holes, and a few stitched doodles. Frame it up and the project is complete. Instead of framing this project, you can turn it into a cute little pillow like Karen did in a recent Craftovision episode, or you can make it into a zipper bag using the tutorial listed in my Etsy store. So this is just one idea for using the back stitch. Leave me a comment letting me know of other ideas and projects that you know of that you can use a back stitch on. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, and I will be back soon with another video. Bye! Thank you.